Okay, it is day 18 of 2024 and it's time for show and tell. Hi, I'm Sarah from Green Goat Ranch, maker of fluffy fibers and consumer of nerdy fandoms. Welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing off my Beltane collection, which is a flying pair remix of my midwinter collection with my midsummer collection. And I also have a few finished objects to share with you too. Let's start with what I'm wearing. This is the Orea scarf. It is a crochet pattern by Alex Creates. And this is in my full midwinter set hand spun. So this is all the rainbow colors of the midwinter set which is a dark gray wool roving that I over dye to get these rich, rich, deep colors. And this scarf is huge. Alex's recipe isn't just, or I gave it away. Uh, Alex's pattern isn't just a pattern, it's more of a recipe. So he gives you the instructions for um, whether it's a bulky weight or a DK weight, um, the crochet pattern of how to make this. And it's a great stash busting project. It's great for all your advents. If you got advents over the holidays to use up all, all that yarn. So I'm just going to be super cozy in this while I show you the Beltane collection. The Beltane collection is inspired by um, the coming of spring and the mix of my midwinter set and my midsummer set. So each plying pair has one from each of those collections. Let's start with Cirilla and Anya. So uh, Cirilla is the midsummer and Anya is the midwinter. And this is like a deep burgundy and a light burgundy. Um, it's this one and my scarf. And then we have Farinosa and Brina. So here's the like reddish midsummer and here's that deep midwinter and then we have Linaria and Kalula so Linaria is the midsummer that's more orangey and then the midwinter color is this more golden tone and they go great together. Wardrobe change. This is just, this should be called the cozy episode. I'm just going to be cozy and all the knits because it's winter. So this is the Regret the Moon Cowl by Tannis Gray. And this was spun and knit for me by Karina. And all the colored wool is my midsummer set. And then the white is from Flying Fibers, Jerry and Irina. This is their flock yarn, is that white creamy color. I love a cowl. You can always style a cowl. They don't fall off. You can wrap it up cozy warm. You can let it hang long. I love a cowl. Um, this is a DK or worsted weight pattern. And this would be another good one for stash busting or using your hand spun because you can, we did big color blocks of each color 
but you could do smaller color blocks. You could do the whole thing one color. Um, yeah, lots of options. All right, let's finish out the other half of the Beltane collection. We have Oak and Elvinia. Oak is the midsummer color. Elvinia is the midwinter. And this is the set that actually inspired this whole collection. Um, Miriam, my friend, made some sample knits for me or some swatches. If you came to any of the fiber festivals and saw the little square swatch of a plying pair hanging there, Miriam knit them up for me. So I spun her some yarn and she was having a really hard time picking between the two greens. She really wanted a, a green hand spun. Um, and she was having a hard time picking between the two. So I was like, why don't I just spin them and ply them together? That would look great. And so I did, and then I was like, I bet you all the midsummer and midwinter colors would look great that way. So that's how this whole collection got started. Thanks, Miriam. Next we have Sanguinis and Marin. So Sanguinis is the midsummer and Marin is the midwinter and these are both blues. Mm, I love blue. A bit. And finally, Valeriana and Sofria. Valeriana is the midsummer and Sofria is the midwinter. And that deep purple, I've had um, one of my customers bought a sweater's quantity of that deep purple. Um, that's going to look beautiful as a sweater or whatever they're making. We bought a lot of it. Um, love the purple. The shop update for the Belting collection was last weekend and it went really well and some of the colors even sold out. So I opened up pre-orders. So if you see something you like, um, you can definitely get that color and get the quantity you'd like. So you're not gonna miss out if you're seeing this after the fact. Come back next week and I'll have another show and tell for you, this time with my spell components collection, which I've also restocked. It's been very popular and the sparkle base was out of stock for a while, but I just got it in. So that collection of plying pairs has been fully restocked and I'll do a show and tell of that next week with another finished object. Until then, may your fibers be fluffy and your bobbins full. I'll see you in the next one.